Hey guys, it's me Crystal from Marching North and today I'm going to show you how to make a sunburst granny square. To start we're going to make a magic loop. So I'm just grabbing my center color of yarn and I also have a four millimeter hook that I'm using here and this is worsted weight yarn. Here's all the colors I'm using for this particular granny square and you see it's size four medium weight yarn. So to tie a magic loop you just wrap the yarn around your fingers or just make this loop and I'm taking it off and just laying it down to really kind of make it easy for you to see. But then you just insert your hook into the loop and you grab your working yarn and you pull up a loop like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and pick it back up and bring my working yarn over to the left side where I normally hold it. But then so we're here, we have our loop and we've pulled through one loop so far. So now we're going to yarn over and pull through to make our first chain. So you see now we have one chain in our magic loop. So we're going to chain two more times. So yarn over, pull it through, then yarn over and pull it through one more time. So now we have three chains and that's going to count as our first double crochet. And then you're going to yarn over and double crochet into the magic loop. So pull up your loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. And there's your first double crochet. So now we have our chain three and one double crochet. Now you're going to double crochet 10 more times into this magic loop. So you'll end up with 12 stitches all together, including our chain three at the beginning. And then I'll show you the next step. All right, now we have our 11 double crochets and our one chain three, so 12 all together. You're going to grab that short little end there and pull, and that's going to cinch up our magic loop, which is the magic part of it. And then we're going to attach our circle at the top of the chain three. So here's the third chain from that chain three. So just insert your hook. I like to go under the front loop and then wiggle it up underneath the second loop as well. And then grab your yarn, yarn over and just pull it through and you're going to pull it through the loop that's on your hook too. So there we have finished our center circle. So just pull your center cord really good and tight to cinch it up. And then you can just go ahead and cut your yarn you and just leave a little bit of a tail and pull the yarn out to finish it off. So here is the center of our granny square. And now we can move on to the next round. So to attach the yarn, I like to just insert my hook and I'm just going under that same stitch where we just finished off the round. Grab your next color of yarn and then just make a slip knot. So wrap it around and bring the loop through and pull to tighten it up. And now you're just going to attach it to your crochet hook. So just slide it right onto the end of your hook and tighten it up. And then just pull it through. Then yarn over and pull through to make your first chain. And that's how I like to attach it. So now we've chained one, so we're going to chain one more time. So we need to do a chain two. And now we're going to do a puff stitch. And our first one will be a little different than the others. So first you just yarn over and you insert into the same stitch that you're in. Pull up a loop. And now you're going to have three loops on your hook like that. Yarn over again. Insert into the same spot. Pull up another loop. Now you'll have five. Yarn over. Insert in the same stitch again. Pull up another loop. And you'll have seven loops on your hook now. So just count to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then for this first one, that's what you want. So you yarn over and just pull that loop through all the loops on your hook like that. And then you're going to chain one to finish off the little puff. So that's our first puff stitch. And because of the chain, we had to do it um, a little bit differently. So I'll show you for the next one how the rest will look. 
So yarn over, insert into the next stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert into the same stitch, pull up another loop. Yarn over, insert into the stitch again. Seven loops so far, yarn over, insert and pull through and now you'll have nine loops. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So then yarn over, pull it through all the loops, and then chain one to finish it off. And you see doing it like that makes them the same size. Otherwise that first one ends up being too big if you do it the same because of the chain. But you're just gonna repeat that. So one time, yarn over again, do it two times, yarn over again, three times and yarn over one more time and do it four times and then after that you yarn over and pull it through all the loops and chain one. And you're just going to repeat that all the way around until you have 12 puff stitches and then I will show you how to attach it at the end. All right, so once you get to your last puff stitch, now we're gonna attach it to this stitch at the top of the first puff stitch. So just insert your hook into that top stitch. So it's not the chain three, it's the next stitch over and pull it through. Then just pull the yarn out a little bit and cut the end, leaving a little bit of a tail and pull the yarn through to finish off that round. So it's starting to look like a little grainy square now. Here on the back, I have these two uh, ends here, the brown and the orange, and I'm just gonna tie them together in a knot. I don't really know that this is necessary, but it makes me feel like it's more secure. So feel free to do that if you want, and we'll finish off the rest of the ends at the end of the granny square. For our next round, I'm gonna attach my yarn over here like on the opposite side but you're going right in between two puff stitches and you can attach it anywhere you want. It doesn't have to be anywhere in particular. And again, I'm gonna grab my next color of yarn and make a slip knot. So I'm just wrapping it around, pulling up that loop, tightening it up like so. And I'm in between two puff stitches in the space. So then you're just gonna bring your yarn through, yarn over and pull through to make a chain. And then we're gonna make three chains all together. So we've done one so far, do one more and one more. So there's three chains. And we're just in the middle of two puffs. So you're gonna yarn over, insert into the same stitch that you're in, bring up a loop, and you're gonna have three loops on your hook here, yarn over and pull through two. And then instead of finishing your double crochet, you yarn over, Insert back into the same space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, then you'll have three left on your hook, yarn over, insert into the space again and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, and then you'll have four loops on your hook and for this first stitch, that's how many you wanna have. Then you yarn over and pull through all four stitches or all four loops, and then you're gonna chain two to finish off the cluster. This is called a cluster. So the first cluster is like that, and then the second one and the rest are a little different, so I'll show you. So you yarn over, insert into the next space between two puffs, bring up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over again, insert into the space, pull up a loop, Yarn over and pull through two. So you have three on your hook now. Yarn over, go through the space, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Now you'll have four. And yarn over one more time. Go through the space, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. And you'll have five on your hook. And this is where you yarn over and pull through all five loops and then chain two times. And that is how you do your clusters. And see, that makes it so the first one looks the same as the rest. Otherwise, it will look a little different. So we'll go through that one more time. Yarn over, insert into the next space, pull up a loop, 
yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, insert into the space and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, insert into the space, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, and one more time, yarn over, go into the space, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Then when you have five loops on your hook, you yarn over and pull through all five loops and chain two. And you're just gonna repeat that all the way around till you have 12, and here we go. On the last cluster, you're only gonna chain one at the end instead of two. And then we're gonna, in, here's your chain three. We're gonna go into that next loop right after the chain three. It's kind of a bigger loop. So just insert your hook there to attach the two sides of the circle together. And there we go. So now we have our circle done. If yours curls up a little bit, that's okay. It'll straighten itself out once we finish off this granny square part. Go ahead and cut your yarn and pull the loop out to finish off that round. And now we have our nice little circle part. It's time to make the square outside part. So I'm gonna start here just in the same, we're going in the gaps between the clusters and I'm just starting right where I ended. Go ahead and attach your next or last color of yarn onto your hook with a slip knot. Then pull it through that space, yarn over and pull through, and that's your chain one. And then I'm just pulling the end to kind of get it in the right spot there. And then you're gonna chain two more times. So we're gonna have a chain three to start. And now we're gonna do two more double crochets in that same space. So here's our one double crochet, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through again and make one more in that same space. All right, so that's three double crochets. One is our chain three, but we're counting that as a double crochet. Then in the next space, we're going to make a corner here. So we're gonna do three treble crochets. So you wrap around your hook once and twice. Then you're gonna insert into that space yarn over and pull through then you're going to yarn over and pull through two yarn over again and pull through two and yarn over one more time and pull through the last two and that's a treble crochet so repeat that again you're going to do three of those Now you've got three treble crochets, so you're gonna chain two. So this is the very corner part of our corner. And now we're gonna do three more treble crochets in the same space. All right, so there's our corner. We got six treble crochets with a chain two space right in the center. So now for the next two spaces, we're gonna do three double crochets in each one. So just yarn over and go ahead and do your three double crochets in the next space. And then in the next space, you're gonna do the same thing. And then in the next space, you're gonna do another corner. So right here, we're gonna do another three treble crochets, then a chain two, and then three more treble crochets.
Just repeat that going around doing the four corners and two sets of three double crochet in between each corner. So here we are at the last space and I'm doing three double crochets here. Now we're going to connect these two sides. So you see here's our chain three from the beginning. We're going to attach right at that top of that chain three. And again, like before, I like to go under the front loop and then go under that second loop as well, which is kind of tough. Then just yarn over and pull it through that loop and the loop on your hook. And then you just pull the loop out and cut your yarn and pull the loop all the way out to finish off that round. And now our granny square is done. So now we just have to finish off all the ends in the back. And now we're just going to go on the back and neaten it up. So if you have any ends that are right next to each other, like that white and gold one I just did, you can tie a knot and then you're just going to weave the ends under wherever you can that's nearby, that it's not too noticeable. And then once you get it woven in, you cut the excess off. But then for the center part, I was going to show you, I just grabbed a small crochet hook, but also a needle would be helpful here, but I couldn't find mine. And I just like to weave that end all the way around the circle of the magic loop at one time, just going all the way around to make it really nice and secure. Once I've threaded it all the way around the center circle, I'd bring it under one more loop and then just make a knot. So bring a loop up like that and pull the end through and tighten it up. And that way, you know, it's nice and secure. And then you're just going to weave the end under a few more stitches and cut the excess. Then we just have one end left to weave in. So I'm just bringing the yarn to the back of the granny square so I can knot it at the back. And I'm just gonna bring the yarn under one of the loops underneath there and just tie a little knot. So bring up the loop and pull the end through the loop and tighten it up to make a little knot and just scoot it way down close to the stitches and then just weave the end under several stitches and cut off your excess yarn. All right, and now our granny square is complete. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Here's one in blue and I just love how they both turned out. I think that'd make such a pretty blanket together. If you enjoy this tutorial, please leave a like comment, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks for watching.